What's good, Josh? Shagam like Makai. Welcome back to my channel. Shea Gildas Alexander is one of the most unstoppable offensive players in the entire NBA. This season, he's averaging 30 points per game, along with six assists, and he's shooting like 54% from the field, 64% true shooting. But what really stands out about his game is the amount of drives that he averages. This season, he's averaging 21 drives per game, which is three more than second place, and he's leading the league in drives, and he's shooting 67% in the restricted area. So when it comes to getting to the rim and getting to the rim on his own, he's just in a class by himself. And he's one of the best drivers in NBA history. And it's his driving and his overall offense because he has a really great mid-range shot as well. But his driving and his overall offense is what has led the Thunder to the solid record. Not solid, to the good record that they have this season. And we're just going to get into some of the ways that he breaks down defenders. Before we get into that though, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could just help me out by liking, commenting, and subscribing and help me reach that goal, I'd really appreciate it a lot. Now let's get into it. On his first play, Shea gets his man on the switch. And just look at how he just bumps his man off his spot over and over again to free himself up for the mid-range. And we're going to see that a lot in this video. Shea is always kind of bumping guys and using his off arm to just get them out of his way. And so, as you see right here, as Shea with the nice finish bumps Alec Burks off his spot. Which is great stuff from Shea right there. Here, once again, Shea, just look at the great kind of hezzy move that he does to get right through the lane and finish a tough layup. Great move right there. Just Shea is just a really, really tough, cold player. Here, one-on-one -on -one with Patrick Williams. Look how he gets his body to shift. And then once again, using his momentum to send Patrick Williams the other way and then free himself up for the wide open mirroring shot. Shea has some of the best body control in the NBA, some of the best pace control, and he uses all of those, you know, tools to his advantage to make him score, you know, all over the court. Here on this play, great in and out to get Herb Jones off balance. And then he's able to finish on the other side of the rim after he senses that his nails is on the back of him. Just great finish, great awareness, just great stuff right there. Here, gets the ball on the elbow, one-on-one -on -one with Karis LeVert. And once again, great footwork, great mid-range shot. Shea also has some really, really amazing footwork. His technical game is just really, really advanced for, you know, for a guard. Here, just a great outstretched left arm layup. Kind of takes away the space from that Atlanta defender. Great stuff right there. And then here, he gets his man on a switch once again. And just look at the suddenness to that he has. Just one little hesitation, and he's already getting downhill, getting to the basket. Great stuff right there. Here, Tory Craig on him, and he's just gonna step right through the lane, finish with Tory Craig on his hip. He's just a you know really gifted finisher. Once again, Patrick Williams one on one, a little tween step back move. His driving game opens up his shooting game so much that he can get moves like that off. And guys are so worried about the drive that they're gonna fall for it every time. He's also a pretty solid color. Here he fakes like he's gonna go and get the handoff, and then he cuts back door for the wide open layup. Great stuff right there from Shea Gilgis. And then here on this play. He's just going to be break his man down, break his man down. And then once again, look, as soon as he decides to drive, it's one little quick hesitation, one quick in and out, and he's already to the basket. And then here, once again, great offhand layup. Just amazing stuff right there from Shea. He's truly an all-star player. He's truly in the MVP conversation this year. And it's because of stuff like this. Great finish right there with a guy on his hip, one hand. Amazing stuff. Here in transition, they're going to find Shea. Casey Wallace bringing it up. The ball eventually gets swung around to Shea. And then here, just drives right by Rudy Gobert. And then look at how he kind of brushes him off with his right hand. It's little stuff like that that kind of frees himself up for, you know, for these wide open layups. Just little technical stuff like that. Here on this play, he sees help going that way. So he just stops on his pivot foot, spins around the, in the other direction, and he's able to knock down the mirroring shot. Great stuff right there from Shea. Here on this play, got Ayo Desumu. He sees Nikola Vucevic coming for the help. So he's just going to stop and do the little baseline mid-range shot. Great stuff. Here, absorb some contact in the air. Kobe White isn't the biggest dude, but that's still a, you know, a pretty good finish. And then here on this play, Shea Gilles Alexander, one-on-one against George Niang. He's just going to hit him with another tween step back. Because the driving game is so dangerous, defenders are on their heels. So that freedom is up for the layup right there. And then here, once again, Get, Shea is also really good at getting to a spot, kind of getting his two feet down and just raising up. Once he gets to that, you know, beyond the three-point line, it's really just, you know, you got to pray that he misses. Here, once again, using his strength, using his off arm, to using the little bump to get his man off of him and then make, knock down the wide open range shot. Here, he just toys with Chris Paul. Chris Paul, that's a, pretty good, that's a pretty good contest, but that's muscle memory right there. You can't do nothing with that. And then here on this play, once again, Patrick Williams on him. Look at the patience as he has because he sees that the paint, the paint is really packed. So he's just going to stop and pop for a little mid-range shot. Great stuff right there. 
here after the handoff he's getting downhill once again abusing alec burks and abusing guys where you know his off arm free himself up for the wide open mid-range shot here one-on-one -on -one with his man he's just gonna look at this as soon as his man is kind of you know stonewalling him he just decides i'm gonna whoop spin around and look at this crazy wide open layup that he gets and he's gonna get an and one just crazy body control just the, the way that he's able to just spin off of his man and just get a wide open layup like that crazy stuff here got his man on his hip bounces off of him classic move for guys operating to get downhill and shea of course has it in his arsenal here a little behind the back to get his man off balance and a great navigation to kind of not you know allow moly to block the shot going to the rim so he just sidesteps and he's able to knock down the mid-range shot here on this play robert covington on him robert covington obviously cannot stop him a little step back three-point shot shay's shooting like 35 percent from three this year not like in the elite category but that's still really good and still a great offensive weapon and just look at the pivot and footwork here as he just has karis the kind of guessing and you know jumping for joy great great floor right there great patience and then a great finish and then here once again, Shea Gilds Alexander isolated. Look at the little tween step back once again. This is one of his favorite moves. And look at how his defender was on his heels. Just the even little inclination that he's going to drive, send his defender flying. And then here on this lane, once again, getting this man off him with his off arm. Knock down a mid range shot. Here, Shea just puts his head down, tries to get downhill. As soon as he sees some resistance, just jumps up, stops and pops. Great stuff right there. And then here, he's going to have a guy on his back and a guy in front of him. Once he gets to his spot, like Kobe Bryant, he's able to just rise up and knock down the shot. I'm not saying Shea is Kobe, but, you know, when you're at a certain level in the NBA, defenses are not going to, you know, bother you like that. Here, just completely abuses Rally Bill. A little in and out. Rally Bill's so worried about the drive, he's able to just step back, knock down a wide open three-point shot. Great stuff right there from Shea. And then here, he's just going to be able to get right past everybody. I don't know what happened there. Just great drive from Shea. Here he's gonna fake the screen, reject the screen from Chet Holmgren, and then get right to the elbow mid-range pull-up. Classic stuff right there. And then here on this play, gonna have the small Donovan Mitchell on him. So he's just gonna, you know, bump him around, spin off of him, and a great finish before the man can come over and block it. Here, gets his man to reach, does a little behind and back with a great pull-up three. Great stuff right there from Shea. And then here on this play, the ball is gonna eventually get swung over to Shea. And then when you get, when you have Shea in space like this, it's just, you know, pick a poison and he's able to just go and knock down a mirroring shot. Here on this play, once again, showing his proficiency in the post game. One little bump and then he fades away. Great stuff right there. Great body control once again. And then here on this play, he's going to be going at his man one-on-one. -on -one. And then look at the great spin move and great footwork. And then he goes right into the body of Alex Lynn so he can't contest the shot. Just a great awareness of just what he's doing and just... What he's doing on these drives and just how to control the players around him. Here, one-on-one -on -one with KD. A little step back mid-range shot. Look at the arc he has to put on it because KD is so tall. Great, great stuff right there. And then here on this play, just gets raced downhill. And look at how he can just hang in the air for just long enough to be able to get that shot to go. And then here on this play, got Dean Wade in the post. Once again, showing great patience. He pump fakes, he doesn't go for it. So he just fades away and knocks down a mid-range shot. And then here on this play, we're going to see him in transition, getting all the way downhill. And look at this, great Euro, great finish, just great, great offense from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shea Gilgis, obviously, is an MVP candidate this year. He's leading one of the best offenses, leading the, one of the best teams in the NBA. But the way that he can just can control his body, the way that he can use, you know, a, a flurry of hesitations, a great dribble moves, great footwork, great pace control, great patience. The way that he can just toy with his defenders and even sometimes just use his physicality, use his strength. He's not the strongest dude in the world, but the way that he knows how to just one little nudge is going to send a guy flying with you when you have, a, you know, a bunch of momentum going one way. So Shea, just an insane player, obviously, an, a, I would say a top three MVP candidate this year. And I would be surprised if he wasn't a first team All-NBA member and All-Star this year. But Shea, just an insane offensive weapon, just an insane driver. One of the best drivers I've ever seen in my life. One of the best mid-range scorers I've ever seen in my life. Just a really insane player. And I can't wait to see what he continues to do with the OKC Thunder this season. So if you see it in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.